different uh, European cities. I also uh, walk all day. I go to the museums, uh, see all the different buildings and parks and all stuff we can see in a uh, new town I visit. So you're like me. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of I don't like beaches because I uh, was born in a town uh, with beach and I'm not very fond of beach. <laughs> okay. And cool. uh, lay down and on the sun and do nothing. No, it's not my uh, type. Yeah. I like to do that sometimes, but not if I go somewhere for a vacation. That's more like around my home if I'm just relaxing. But, yeah. Walking and seeing different stuff. Mm -hmm, for sure. Pleasure. Yeah, me too. Um, what about you, Hiep? Hi, Hiep. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Hiep. I'm from Vietnam. I'm 26. Uh, in uh, my vacation, I uh, go to my uh, homeland to... Uh, Sorry, Hiep. Um, I can't hear you very well. Could you pull your microphone a bit closer to your mouth? Um, can you hear me? Okay, I'll just turn it up with the. Okay, hmm. it should be. Should be better. Now. Um, can can you hear me? Mhm. Mm yes. Uh, on my vacation, I ha I um I, I usually go to my homeland to uh, relax with my uh, parents. Uh, we uh, go to the beach and uh, and take a take a shower in the beach. Beach. Mhm. Mm Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so you're more of a beach kind of guy, right? You like the beach. Tropical. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay, what about you, Jordan? Could you introduce yourself again and tell us about your typical day on a vacation? Uh, first, hello, everyone. Hi, I'm Samantha. Um, I'm Jordan. I'm from Jordan. I like to do many things in my vacation, many things you can imagine, but unfortunately now exactly I do everything I don't like to do on my vacation, I do on my vacation day. Okay. I'm well, studying, uh, prepare for something for next week. Yes. You, Assignments. you study when you're on vacation? Yeah, because now it's summer semester, the every daily university. Oh no, so you never get a break? <laughs> I get a break next month. I hope if okay. I can go to Dubai. I hope. Oh, cool. That'd be mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, what about you, Jose? Well, I, I go to the mountains. I walk for a while. I chill out. Sometimes I do a barbecue. I drink coffee. I watch television. Yeah. That's it. So just relax, right, and hang out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Furkan. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you do on vacation, usually? Uh, if I go to a special place, probably uh, I will use my imagination because I'm assuming that place would be a historical place. So I try to uh, explore every kind of uh, what are they? I forgot its name, but every nook and cranny, maybe. Then I take my brothers with myself. Then I go to different locations that normally it's not a lot, but I can go. Mm, cool. Maybe I can try some new food. Mm -hmm. Is there any new foods you wouldn't try? How would I possibly know without going there? Bugs? <laughs> no, I will not try bugs. <laughs> so Neither there's snails. Okay. What about that uh, duck thing that I forget what it's called? That duck? um, Turkey. no, it was like the baby duck. You remember? Uh, Someone that's showed balloon. it to us. In balloon. Oh, oh right, in yeah, the clouds. You're in from the Philippines, Philippines right? In yes. What's it called? <laughs> Balut. We call it Balut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember we were talking about it like two days ago with um, Jamie? Would you Would you try that, Firkin? No. No. <laughs> they have to close my eyes and make me eat with force. Okay. Um, <laughs> hi, Savas. 
Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, very good. I'm so, what about you? Vacation. Describe a typical vacation day. I am uh, actually on vacation uh, now. Oh. In the <laughs> uh, last for a few months. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I went to Istanbul. Now I'm living in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I go to some historical uh, places in Istanbul and some mosques and castles. Uh, there are lots of historical uh, places in Istanbul. But uh, actually, uh, I want to go Middle East or um, Egypt. But Egypt, Egypt is impossible, I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is, uh, yeah. Lots of problems. They they have lots of problems now. Mm, for sure. Um, because, yeah, I I want to see in pyramids. The pyramid. Uh, Pyramid. Yeah, pyramids. I read lots of things about them, but I, I really I want to see see them. Okay, so yeah. you're like you like to explore and see historical yeah. things and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 exactly. I want cool. to see them really, but I I recommend I recommend. Uh, for everybody to in, to Istanbul, uh, for for everybody, there are lots of historical uh, part part of Istanbul. Everyone, everyone that I've met from Turkey has told me I have to go to Istanbul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, every student, so um, I'm gonna have to go someday. <laughs> Is that yeah. the capital of Turkey? Right. It isn't. Uh, I don't know. Is it the capital of Turkey? No, no. Uh, no. What's the capital? Capital, capital is Ankara. I'm right. Oh, Ankara. yeah, Ankara. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But everyone knows about Istanbul. <laughs> no, no, Istanbul. And I, I was born to Fethiye. I'm typing. You can, uh, you can check the YouTube. Uh, Fethiye is my my town is. Um, um, uh, touristic, touristic city. Uh, it has everything: and historical parts, beaches, uh, sun, green, uh, fresh air. Just uh, everything. <laughs> yes, bars, clubs, mm -hmm. everything. Cool. Everything. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Awesome. <laughs> uh, for for vacation. <laughs> All right. So, um, did we hear from everyone? I think. Oh, Cedric. Okay. Uh, my typical vacation would be, I'll take a nap all day, all night, <laughs> and then, uh, and then eat, and then sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep. That's it, ma'am. That's my typical <laughs> vacation. Just eating and sleeping. Yeah. That's adventurous. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> okay, so Cedric is very hungry and very tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, okay, so like I said, we're looking at articles today. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, we'll go over some of the basics. And if you guys have questions about some of the tougher ones, you can ask me. Um, we'll just be looking kind of at the basic usage today. Um, Fabiana is trying to get in, but it, I think the class is full. One, two, three. Four. Yeah. Yeah, we're full. So if someone leaves, you might be able to get a seat, but for now it's full. Um, so first we have the, maybe, how about um, Jordan? Would you like to read? Yeah, sure. Okay. The, it's used. For things there's usual one of, like the moon. My book is in the living room. If everyone knows what you are talking about, the story we read in class yesterday. Geographic, but not mo most countries. The Pacific Ocean, the, the Rockies, the East, etc. 
a type of people, the rich, the poor, the young, the educated, etc. Good. Um, geography. So when you're talking about a specific place or um, a direction, it's to the east, it's to the west, it's the Pacific Ocean, the Rocky Mountains. But when we're using countries, we don't usually use the. Um, only when something is like the United States. Hello, everybody. Hi. The Philippines. There's, certain, there's some exceptions, but the vast majority of countries, we don't use the. These are some of the exceptions where we do. Maybe if there is like a United in this country. Or yeah, Union usually or if, if anything that's United, we use the. Um, the Philippines is just an exception. I don't know why, but it's <laughs> I know one of those. Why. <coughs> are you hearing me? Excuse me. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just because it's special and awesome. <laughs> because there are many islands, I guess, in the Philippines, and it's kind of a... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of like the Philippine island sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's because it's just being awesome. I think it's Actually, just because it's special. It's archipelago. <laughs> yeah, we don't say yeah. archipelago. Sorry, Hazel? For Indonesia, we don't say the Indonesia. No, it's just Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a type or a group of people, the rich, poor, the young, the educated, etc. Okay, um, so generally, for things where there's only one of them, I like the moon. The book is in the living room. Um, and also for things that are specific. So, um, let's see. <laughs> what we said earlier, Hazel was born on the beach. Yeah. And that slept hay. on the hay. <laughs> Is that a fact, man? Spend the night with the cows. Without. <laughs> so in this case, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. special hay. Some special hay. But if we just said Hazel was born on... Be a beach. <laughs> And it's more general to say on a beach. On the beach, it's more specific to say we know which beach it was. That one. And we'd like point at the beach. Okay, so we use the for things that are more specific and a for things that are more general, right? I want to buy a dog or I want to buy the dog that I saw yesterday, right? So a dog is more general. The dog I saw yesterday, it's more specific. Right? So. Oops. Do you buy everything right. that you see? Pardon? Do you buy everything that you see? <laughs> no, I don't have three dogs. We only have two. We were dog sitting the third one. <laughs> um. Okay. Any questions about the? Is it is that clear for the most part? So far so good. Okay. Let's take a look at a uh, and an. So maybe um, Alex, would you like to read for us? Yeah. A and an. A is used before singular nouns starting with a consonant sound. A train, a car. N is used before singular nouns, starting with a vowel sound, an hour, an orange. These are not used with plurals, a train, a car, some hours, and oranges. These are not generally used with non count nouns, a water, a money, used. Uh, when introdu introducing a new topic, I saw a horse today. Etc. <laughs> Etc. Et 
uh, before number words a couple a thousand hundred a million it's etc it's not uh, excuse me it's not, it's not etc it's etc with t e t c e t e r a it's a latin <laughs> word yeah from latin et cetera. Et cetera. oh okay c like that yes, et yes. without h Cetera. Well, this is just the sound, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, et cetera. Yeah, et cetera. From like Sounds like X. Okay. Not X. Sorry, Alexi? <laughs> okay, can I continue? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I forgot when it was. Before number. Before okay. number words, a couple, a dozen, a hundred, a million, et cetera. Uh, mm -hmm. The above rules apply to the adjective in front of the noun: an elephant versus a big elephant, not an a, not an big elephant. A car <laughs> versus an electric car. Good. Okay. So, um, basically, uh, singular nouns with a consonant sound, right? We use an if there's a vowel sound. So. Because the H is silent in our, we use an hour, not a hour, an orange. Um, we don't use a with things that are plural, a trains, that doesn't work. Anything that's red is incorrect, okay? Um, non countable nouns, a water, a money, okay? Um, we use it to introduce a new topic. I saw a horse today, and then once we've introduced the horse, we would um, the, the horse. I don't know. Okay. So this is we use to introduce the topic, and then once we know about it, we start to use the because it's becoming more specific. Okay. Um, the horse. Like that. The horse was big, mm -hmm. right? So. Okay, um, number words, a couple, a dozen, a hundred. And it has to agree with the noun, or sorry, with um, the word that, it com that comes right after it. So it could have to agree with the adjective or the noun, depending on if you're using an adjective. A car, an electric car, right? So you have to make sure that it flows. The N is there to make it flow. Um, does anyone have any questions about A and Anne? Uh, excuse me. Uh, Jordan? And a, uh, and a big elephant. Could you make it correct for me? A big yep, elephant. Yep, so right? instead of an big elephant, it should be A. Okay. Thank you. Because we need A to agree with big, not elephant. So whatever word comes right after a or an, that's the word you have to match it to. So because there's a b here, not a vowel, this has to be a, right? Mm -hmm. With elephant, there's an e here, a vowel, so it has to be an. So you just match it to the word that's right beside it, like this one, a car, an electric car, because there's an e here. So it makes it easier for us to say, at electric car, it sounds choppy. So we use the N to kind of make it flow, okay? Um, any other questions about at, an, or the? No? All right. Um, this is where it starts to get a little confusing sometimes when we actually just don't use an article. <laughs> so maybe, um, Firkin, would you like to read this for us? Often no article is used before a noun. Before noun count nouns, I want milk. Then courage is important, etc. Poor nouns, I want two eggs. I saw two horses today, etc. Most countries, I was to China, I traveled to Russia, etc. Okay, so we talked about countries before, right? Most of the time we don't need an article. Um, when your noun is plural, you wouldn't say, I want two and eggs, <laughs> or I want 
and eggs. It only works if it's singular, right? Think of it as one, one egg, right? An egg. Um, I saw two horses, not I saw a uh, horses. It doesn't work. So uh, only works with singular noun. Um, and when you've got a non-countable noun, we don't use an article. I want milk. Um, she has money. Courage is important. Um, I don't know. We eat cheese. <laughs> okay. So if it's a non-countable noun, you don't need an article. Um, any other questions? Is it clear? Do you need help? It's all good? Okay. All right. Um, let's take a look at our article. Here's the link. So, we're looking at Mashu Pishu. says, its mysteries continue to lure explorers. And here's a picture. How many people have heard of this place or have been there? Has everyone heard of it? Yeah. Yes. I heard about someone has name like this. What place? No. About a person? Yeah. Mitchell you know Kuchi or something. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Um, okay, so let's read a little bit about it. Trying to make it for you guys. There we go. Okay. On the morning of July 24th, 1911, a tall lecturer come explorer from Yale University set off in a cold drizzle to investigate rumors of ancient Inca ruins in Peru. The explorer chopped his way through thick jungle crawled across a bridge of slender logs bound together with vines and crept through underbrush, underbrush hiding venomous fer de lance pit vipers. Two hours into the hike, the explorer and his two escorts came across a grass-covered hut. A pair of Indian farmers walked them a short way before handing them over to a small Indian boy. With the boy leading the way, Kiram Bingham stumbled upon one of the greatest archaeological finds of the 20th century and what was named in 2007 as one of the new seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu. What Bingham saw was a dramatic and towering citadel of stone cut from escarpments. Fashioned by men without mortar, the stones fit so tightly together that not even a knife's blade could fit between them. He wondered why, by whom, for what. Certainly, what he saw was awe-invoking. Contemporary Peruvian expert Luis Lambreras, the former director of Peru's National Institute of Culture, describes a citadel made up of palaces and temples, dwellings and storehouses, a site fulfilling ceremonial religious functions. Um, I'll read this last bit. Uh, Machu Picchu is formed of buildings, plazas, and platforms connected by narrow lanes or paths. One sector is cordoned off to itself by walls, ditches, and perhaps a moat. Built, writes Lum Lumbreras, not as part of a military fortification, but rather as a form of restricted ceremonial isolation. Um, got some interesting words in here. So, is there any new vocabulary for you guys? Any Cita new words? Yeah. I'm just going back up to the top. Cordo cordoned. Citadel. Okay, first one is cordoned. Cordoned off. Does anyone know what that means? For something to be cordoned off? Uh, something to do with cord? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like covering with circling or... Mm -hmm. So basically, if something is cordoned off, think of like um, oh, wow. when there's some sort of an accident in the street and they put up pylons, like those uh, orange uh, things, uh, okay. to kind of separate an area. That's cordoning something off. 
Um, yeah. It doesn't have to be that literal with the pylons, but it basically means to section something off from something else. So to like separate it. Um, what was the next word? I heard citadel. Ah, citadel. Oh, I'm sure they said it a few times. Let me find one. Right. Okay, a dramatic and towering citadel. Does anyone know what that means? It's, it's like a tower. Yeah, a tower. Um, tower in the tower. <laughs> uh, a fortress. Okay. Like yeah, a, a um, like a stronghold. Do you know in a in a castle how you see the yeah. towers? Yeah, the towers um, okay. with the slits at the top where people could kind of shoot their arrows mm. through. Um, that's what I think of when I think of a citadel, like a very big, tall tower, a fortress. Okay. Okay. What is um, Tower of Alliance? Sorry? I didn't hear. Tower of Alliance. Okay, where is that? I have to find it. Venomous Tower of Alliance Pit Vipers. Does anyone know what... Yes, it's the poison of the viper, Venomous, I think. Yeah. So let's show you a picture. Viper. Ah, okay. So it's. Does everyone know what a viper is? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of snake. snake. Poisonous snake. Snake. Yeah, a poisonous Venomous. snake. So this is a specific type of snake. It's um, very large and very dangerous. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what it means in French. Does anyone speak French here? Yes, it's me. What do you know what it translates to? Uh, a snake in French. Ferocious. <laughs> yeah, like venomous or violent kind of. Uh, serpent. Serpent. Okay. Uh, it's, it's mean uh, snake and uh, uh, poison. That's mean uh, poison. Right. Okay. So. Um. Viper can be poison. small as well. In my country, there are small vipers. Mm -hmm. It's not um, In any case, kind of stay well. stay away from vipers. Right? Yeah, very <laughs> they dangerous. They might kill you. <laughs> Isn't that redundant to use re venomous before Ferdelands? Mm, I think, that, but Ferdelands pit vipers. It's just the name of the snake, isn't it? I don't know. Ma'am, I have a question. Yep. Yeah? In what sense is this lecturer come explorer? Do you guys know what that means when you have come like that in the middle of a word? What? Or I think of some. I think of something, ma'am. No. <laughs> okay. No, it's not that. <laughs> um. So basically, it means like his job. Um is he's a lecturer, but he's also an explorer. It's kind of something that he does on the side. Oh, so his okay. main job is lecturer, um, and he is he has become an explorer, ah. kind of. Um, but it's just, so I could say, like, my professor is a professor come, I don't know, photographer, because it's like an extra thing that they do. Okay. Okay. Not related to their... Uh, to a yeah, maybe uh, maybe a little bit unrelated to their profession, but it's just a, sep a separate thing that they do. Um, any other new words here? Underbrush. Underbrush. I don't know what. There it is. What is underbrush? Anyone? Okay, so it basically is just shrubs, um, but I'll show you. So, like shrubbery kind of bushes that are low, lower to the ground. Like these would be all of the trees up here, and then this would be the underbrush. Okay. Yeah. So, like the under bushes, <laughs> kind of. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's talk a little bit about this. I wish Fabiana could join us. Um, has anyone else been here to this place? Actually, there's a spot in the class. Yeah. Oh, there is? Okay. Four or five minutes. 
<laughs> I didn't even notice. Um, I gave her the link. So, first question. What's that? No written evidence. How do you know which theories to believe? So, how do historians determine what's true? I think uh, they follow the patterns, I guess, in the sky. Okay, so you think it's it's religious? I think so. Okay. Everyone else, any other ideas? Maybe they compare with other, uh, you know, foundings like Incas were not living only in Machu Picchu, or I don't know how these pronounce it, but uh, there are also other places that Incas settled down, so maybe they can look at that and they can uh, figure out how do they live, why do they live, why do, you, why do they do like that. Or maybe they decipher the language of uh, the Inca, so they can know many stories about uh, these people. Okay. So by trying to find kind of historical documents? Yeah. So I think the, the point was that they, they couldn't find any written evidence. So they were trying to piece everything together based on what they see, what's left there, the ruins. Um, so, yeah, maybe going to other places where these people were. Yeah. How do you know what to believe? That, like, do you believe if you go into a museum and there's a blurb about some ancient artifact, do you believe what you're reading? Usually, yes, because there are historians who studied this kind of things, and they should know better than me anyway. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yes. I have the theory of the 2012, the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And it um, was false. There's sorry? this. It was false. It was not true, I mean. Oh, right, false, right. It's not true. Someone else was about to say something. Was it? There's this Discovery Channel meme that I watched. Um, mm -hmm. They say that this these works of Incas are not really not really wor worked by some other some other people. Uh, it is worked by some sort of aliens, I guess. They say in the documentary. Okay, aliens. Yeah. There's a pattern if you look in the sky, ma'am. Do you guys believe in aliens? Uh, I believe. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you I should have believe. a class about aliens. Uh, Extra yes, real. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's possible. The theory, it's... Ab sorry, uh, the theory about aliens was uh, based on the fact that uh, the rocks were um, linked together without mortar or cement or anything else. They are very well... Um, I fixed and um, they were uh, the constructors were very puzzled about the way they constructed these uh, mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. I think aliens uh, are uh, the result of the imagination of uh, the human being, the human beings. Okay, you think it's all about the human imagination? There's no truth to it. Yes, and there is no evidence about their uh, existence. Mm -hmm. I think these ancient structures are evidence of their existence because if they lived a long time ago, they don't have lasers those uh, during those times. So it's possible that you know something of higher technology, you know, it's created still, or built these structures. But, but it's still an hypo uh, hypothesis. 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 Yeah. But it's possible. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're so having an alien class next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wrote it down. I'm going to plan one because I want to talk about <laughs> aliens. Um, we'll have a class next week about it. Um, yeah. Hey, Fabiana, you made it. <laughs> yeah, I made it. <laughs> okay, so you have to tell us. You've been here. What was it like? And amazing. Amazing place. And uh, about what you guys were talking, uh, 
after we go uh, after going there you start believing in alien because the things there are so unbelievable to think that they could that constructions a lot of uh, times ago and in that way I don't know how to say it because and uh, people there they they don't say that uh, uh, they don't deny and they don't uh, affirm that it can be made by by help from aliens but I don't know it's so uh, superior so and mystical yes and it's difficult to to believe that a, a human being would do that without uh, an special help you know mm -hmm. Especially back then, right? At that time? Yeah. And Let the archaeologists do their work, ma'am. <laughs> and in the, the, the museum... Okay, there is a picture... Okay. Can right. I see? The History Channel thing about it. I'm yeah. just... Yeah, I'm listening. And in the museums, they, they have these ancient bones of the, the, the people who lived there and there are some strange screws with the uh, a, a long uh, bone uh, it, it, it was just not normal okay so there's a museum set up like near near the not in, not the in Machu Picchu in Cusco in, oh. in uh, a nearby city there Oh, okay. And uh, the 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 size of the the this crew the from from the ancient peoples, some ones are, are big a big uh, head you know, like uh, the aliens in the movies, and I don't know. And your skulls? They found like skeletons with these big heads. Yes, the 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 bone of the head was long, was like this, you know. Not normal. Yeah, it's not normal. Abnormal. <laughs> abnormal. Abnormal. Uh, abnormal. <laughs> abnormal. You, guys, abnormal. you uh, I, I think everybody, uh, if they have the chance to visit this place, there's a lot of history there and a lot of... Uh, it's an amazing place. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Um, so, Ferkin, you seem kind of, you're like, why are you guys underestimating humans so much? So, Ferkin, do you believe in aliens? We don't say no, that, we don't say I, that. I think they can do that. I mean, human beings can do that, because you're like, oh, they're stupid, they were, they had no tools, or they can't do that, but, you know, we don't know what kind of tools that they have, what kind of technology that they have. Maybe we just didn't see it, but... Obviously, they were really good at math. They even calculated 2012's calendar and maybe more than that. And a lot of different things like pyramids in South, South America or many other things that you don't know. So I, I would say that don't underestimate people so much. They okay. can do that. I wonder if it's something that you just need to see to really kind really of form what? an opinion. I don't know. Well, I saw weird things, but I believe that humans can do that. Okay. Um, Savas. <laughs> Someone said your name, so now I'm going to pick on you. What do you think, <laughs> Savas? <laughs> what, what do you think? Do you, do you believe... What do you think? What what happened here? Do you believe in aliens, or do you think humans created this? Um, I don't. I don't believe uh, aliens. Um, but it, I I interested. Um, I interested uh, his history of Egypt. I I told you, and I cannot believe how they uh, build all all these. Or every everything. Uh, maybe somebody helped them from space. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like that, and but I'm not sure. I, I read lots of things about this, um, but <clears throat> I, I don't believe that they build themselves everything. Okay. Uh, so you think there was something? Something yeah. must have helped them. Yeah, yeah, but I I don't know. Do you think um, the same thing about the pyramids? Yes, especially okay. I'm thinking the old pyramids. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. No, there, um, there are lots of things. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some uh, temples, for example, in the world. Yeah. Uh, Finds. Uh, science cannot explain how they build uh, all this. Right. They 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 tell they tell us uh, even even uh, even uh, now they cannot build all this. How they how did they build uh, all These temples and everything? Nobody nobody knows. Yeah. It is it is really interesting. Okay. Um. Okay, here's another question. I'm going to get off of aliens because now I really want to talk about that <laughs> next week. So we're just going to not talk about aliens anymore. Um, <laughs> let's, let's move on a little bit. So what are some other really cool historical places in the world? Think the pyramids. Of, okay, the pyramids. So the pyramids of what's Giza. so cool about the pyramids, Cedric? About the, about the history, ma'am, I guess. I, uh, the mummies, um, what else? Um, the the way the way it, the way it built it, I guess it built, I guess, and then it was built. It was built. It was the way it was built, and then um, the way uh, the structure, I guess, it's very unique, very you know, very mm -hmm. okay, very. Old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So the pyramids. What's another really cool historical place in the world? Stonehenge. Colosseum. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. There's a good one. Um, what's so interesting about Stonehenge? Aliens, man. The big stones. The big stones. How they are. Really the uh, aliens, man. What's so interesting about Stonehenge? The, the stones. aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's true. Um, how they were arranged. Uh oh, are we getting back to aliens? <laughs> Unavoidable. Okay, Stonehenge. Colosseum. The Colosseum. Yeah. Yeah. Easter Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easter Island. Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. Bermuda Triangle. Mm hmm. There's nothing in there. I That's hope you guys topic, know I'm I'm writing these down for for next week. <laughs> That's a good topic, ma'am. Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, we'll do one on the Bermuda Triangle for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Here's another question. I want you guys to try to use your article when you answer this for me. Okay. So when you're describing an area, a place, different places in your town. Um, or your city, you'll find that you need to use articles a lot, especially the. So I want to see how you guys can kind of describe and tell us what should tourists see in your town or in your city. Or if you live in a really small town, you know, the biggest town that's nearby, whatever. I want you to give, tell us what we should see. So for example, um, I'm from a small town near Toronto, um, but I would say um, in my area you have to go see Niagara Falls. Have you guys heard of Niagara Falls? Yeah. That's incredibly it's far it. from yeah. you. It's not far from me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, wow. it's not. At least 400 kilometers or more. Let's, uh, I'll do some Google Maps. So I want to I wanna dive there. <laughs> Anyways, you should go see t Niagara Falls because the falls are beautiful and um, there are a lot of tourists and there is a very long street with lots of attractions on the street. Um, there are lots of benches near the falls that you can sit at and look at them. 
You can take pictures of the falls. Um, Man. It's very beautiful. You can also question. take a boat. There's a boat that goes underneath the falls. It's called the Maid of the Mist. Has anyone heard of it? No. no. It's a boat. It's called the Maid of the Mist, and it takes you underneath the waterfall, um, and it's all misty from the ah, water. Just like and in... you get soaked. You have to wear like a rain jacket. Just like um, in Bruce Almighty. Yeah, it's really cool. You get to go right underneath the falls. So that was an example. So I'm trying to use the, a, and an in my description. Okay? So let's start with Alex. Can you tell us what should we go see in your area? Oh, I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> only, only one thing on my mind is uh, it's the Kremlin, I think. Okay. Uh, the Red Square, yeah, it's a good place. Nice and cool, and and there's a uh, lots of good stuff on uh, the Red Square. Am I correct? The Red Square, yeah. Yeah, the Red Square. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, uh, lots of shops and uh, museum. It's a uh, uh, weapon weapons museum. Uh, 18th century, like old uh, swords and, and and shields, and it's it's a cool museum. I was there about two times. Yeah, I really like it. I really like museum. Mm -hmm. And and um, uh, I don't know that word. The the mausoleum, uh, the grip of Lenin. The mausoleum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I think that's all. Okay, cool, perfect. So all of them are perfect. The red square at the mausoleum, good. Um, and we're using the because they're specific places. Yeah, right? so one mm -hmm. thing. Good, perfect. Um, Cedric, what about you? Okay. Uh, three. Uh, what I want about tourists to see in my town is that you have a beautiful scenery, um, uh, beautiful uh, the parks, um, the, the malls, I guess, um, uh, a very, a very, very big fountain, I guess, um, and then a very green surround, a very green and clean surroundings, I guess, um, and then what else? Uh, uh, the, I guess, the buildings, and then mm, that's it, man. <laughs> Good. So that was almost perfect, and you used so many articles. I'm like high five. Awesome. There yeah. was just there yeah. was just one. So you said a uh, clean and green surroundings. Yeah. So it should have been surrounding, a clean surrounding, um, or the green surrounding, right? You can't use a ah when it's plural. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes the problem is because you put an adjective in there, um, green, your mind doesn't think, uh, it doesn't catch up with you, so you say a ah, green, right? Um, yeah. But I think it's just because you were explaining. Um, really good job, really good job. Thank um, you. Clouds, what about you? What should we see in your area? Wow, <laughs> I don't really go out, but I'll try my best. Um, <laughs> they said that uh, I'm from Davao City, and that's in the southern part of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And they said that um, yeah, if you go here, you should check out Mount Apo. Uh, I'm gonna type it. Mount Apo is the highest. Oh, Apo. Yeah, it's the highest mountain in the Philippines. I guess <laughs> yes, and okay. uh, also there's another place. It's the Mayong Prayer Volcano. Mountain. Yeah, that's the Mayong Prayer Mountain, and they said it's the Europe. It's the Europe in the like it's like Europe in the Philippines. So <laughs> I'd like to oh, check that okay. out, but I haven't been there yet. Yes, I oh, guess no. it's uh, <laughs> I've never been any <laughs> of these places, but yeah, I want to check them out someday. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All of your articles were perfect. 
Um, Thank you. You're kind of like me. I there's so many places in Canada I haven't been. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh yeah, it's hard sometimes. But you should go and then uh, show us pictures. <laughs> Next time, I okay. will. <laughs> and Dave, what about you? Well, uh, I'm gonna talk about my uh, lovely island. Uh, it's called uh, the Island of Dreams. Its name is uh, Jerba. It's uh, very known in the world, and um, it has uh, one uh, of the most beautiful uh, golden uh, sandy beaches and uh, many palms and uh, many landscapes. Okay, yes. perfect. Perfect. Good. The island. Good. Island of Dreams. Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, I've never heard of it. I'm it's a Jerba. It's very known, maybe because uh, you are too far away from uh, my country. It looks nice, though. I'm I'm looking on Google. <laughs> cool. Okay. Awesome. Um, and Hazel. Um. Yes. I live in Constanza, which is uh, one of the biggest cities of my country, and it's a port at the Black Sea. Uh, what to see here? Um, you can see the archaeological museum. Besides going to the beach, <laughs> you can see several museums in my hometown, like mm -hmm. uh, the archaeological museum. It's a very interesting square in Constanza, uh, named after the famous poet, um, Roman poet, who was exiled here uh, in about eight or ten uh, the the year eight or ten uh, Ovidius his name and I don't know there are many interesting places to visit but I think we don't have <laughs> too much time I will let the other students to talk about their uh, cities Okay, cool. I just um, googled map of the Black Sea to get an idea of where you are, and I see your city there. Um, it's cool. Um, and perfect, your articles were perfect. Good. Thank you. Um, what about Jose? Jose? Well, uh, here you can see many shops and malls. Where you will find more theater, restaurants, supermarkets, museums, parks, boulevard. Also, there are park boulevard charts. Uh, yeah, here a little bit longer, you will you will find beaches, volcanoes, hot springs, resorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, very good. Um, what about Savas? Yes, uh, in my town, uh, actually around uh, my town area, uh, three civilizations, uh, three, three civilization lived in in my town area. Not a, a, exactly mm -hmm. my town in large first large area, but okay. um, one of them. Uh, first, Lycian. Lycians, for example. Uh, maybe you heard about something uh, about Lycians. Uh, for example, have you heard about Pegasus? Fly, yeah. Flying mm -hmm. horses. Yeah. Uh, his, from, his, from the mythology. Uh, I was going to say, I think you might have to type it because I'm not sure if I heard you yeah. correctly. Yeah. Um, Pegasus. Oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm no, it's my... fine. It's my it's my ear sometimes. <laughs> In English, we would say Pegasus. Yeah, In Pegasus. English. Yeah. When yeah. we're pronouncing yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. sure. And there are lots of um, temples um, about the Lycians, and after Lycians lived in Romans. Uh, some the others. Uh, some temples, there are lots of things about Romans, and uh, last, as last, and Ottomans. There are some mosques and castles, uh, all of them in Fethiye. So you must come. Uh, so that's and like the, the place to go, right? <laughs> then 
same time, there is, of course, um, C, pages, uh, nightlife, and everything. Mm -hmm. okay. and, I, and, okay. and I worked as rep in a Jeep Safari company in Petia. So uh, I know all, all, all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. I, I took lots of so many people, so many English people, uh, all, all these places. Okay. So, uh, it sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. Um, good use of articles as well. I don't think you made any mistakes there with your articles, so very good. Um, yeah. You I had a lot of nouns that don't use articles, and you didn't add any, so awesome. The next class is about the same thing, really? Yes, it's Anthony. <laughs> no way. No. You guys have to go there and tell him, like, we just did this class. Wow. And tell him we were talking about aliens. See where well, he incidents, goes with that. Coincidence happens, man. That's so, that is the weirdest thing, because we can choose whatever we want. <laughs> oh, really weird. Um, it's about Inca Trail. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same article. That would be even crazier. <laughs> no, I think it's about the uh, road, how to um, reach the Inca Trail. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> yeah? I, I have a question. Uh, some people are saying that Niagara Falls is part of the U.S. Why is that so? Um, because it is. It's actually both. It's right it's on the on border. The borders. The, it's right the on border. the border. So ah. we get, in Canada, um, we get the pretty side. <laughs> um, we get to see the horseshoe of the falls, like that, around there. And then it's actually right on the border. So if you're if you're looking at the horseshoe, you can see across and see people in the United States. <laughs> uh, so, so, it's, so it's part of Canada or the U.S. Both. Ah, both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's generally it's considered a Canadian thing, but it's you can there's part of Niagara Falls is in the states as well. Yeah. Um. Education. I have a four-year bachelor's degree and um, a TESOL certification, and I'm working on my master's degree right now. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. To answer. <laughs> Is it Humud? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Humud? Mohammed? Humud Mohammed. Yeah. Humud? Do you it's have a microphone? Humud, it's do you have a microphone? Maybe not. It's not with us. That's why. Okay. We... All right. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, let me share my links with you here. Um, yeah. So go off to Anthony's class and tell yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Bye bye. Well, thanks, bye -bye. guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. bye.